It's panda night. My phone is not wanting to stay on the cookie again, but that's okay. We'll see if we can get it fixed before people show up. If not, I'll just kind of look up, but that's okay. Um, so it is Wednesday night. It is day three of our challenge. Tonight is animals. So I'm going to do the panda look that uh, tied for um, the look to do this week with last week's this or that. Um, so if you remember correctly, on Monday we did the kitty cat look. I do remember these things. Um, yesterday we did the princess and tonight is going to be panda. Um, I'm in my white and black to try to go with the panda look. I'm a pale person, so hopefully the white will show up okay. I've practiced this a couple of times. We'll see what happens um, <laughs> now that we've actually gone live and go from there. So hi to everybody who's already on here. Um, tonight we're going to do a couple of different things. I've got the right one. That, I've got the wrong one in my hand. Now I have the right one in my hand. Um, we're going to use the pearl alarm illuminator to try to go as white as possible for the panda face. I'm going to bring unicorn back from yesterday. And then for the, uh, the panda eyes, we're going to go with Salem to get the really dark colors. Um, it worked best yesterday when I was just using my finger. So I'm going to probably do that again. Trying to get my ring light not to fall. So let's go ahead and try this. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so again, I'm just sticking my finger in the pearl illuminator. Um, and this is just to kind of start getting it a little bit of white, give the eyeshadow something to connect to once we start going. I say we a lot. I know it's just me in here. Um, I'm not crazy. I just, I'm a we person. I'm a team person. So I just like, we, we did this, we do that. We're going to do this. I swear I'm not crazy. <laughs> My nose is so cute. It's got this little button when I put illuminator on it. And this won't try to show up a whole lot. It's just going to be kind of, I don't know why I went that far. I'm not going that far. <laughs> oh, well. Um, but this is just, again, kind of giving the makeup something to stick to. Once we really start going, um, I have a Zoom meeting at eight, but luckily <laughs> it's with my mascara group. So it's okay that I'm going to show up with an animal face on my head, you know? Plus I'm trying to win a contest today because I've seen a couple of leopard prints and I'm like, oh, everybody can do leopard. Uh, somebody did do a kitty cat. I'm like, I'm going panda, man. I'm going panda. Okay, so the illuminator is doing its job. Definitely illuminating there. All nice and pretty. Okay. And I know my sister is not able to be on, um, but I know she'll be watching in the replay. So when you do let me know, uh, Panda is her favorite animal. So I know she was really looking forward to seeing that. So I'm excited for her to see it and let me know how I did. Okay, we're going in with the unicorn eyeshadow. See, look at that hitting the illuminator. And it shows up much darker in person, so I'm just gonna try to cake it on a little more than usual. Just so that it'll show up on the camera. We can already start to see the difference. You could probably also use this for a, a ghost look too for Halloween. Um, it's going to be kind of fun. I don't know what I'm going to be for Halloween yet because I'm actually going to let you guys decide on Thursday for this week's this or that what you want my Halloween costume to be. And it's between two different things. Um, and I could really go either way, which is why I'm coming to you guys. Though I do have mine that is a preference. I'm not going to say which one it is because I don't want to skew the vote. I don't want to go too far on the eye since I'm going to actually go black with that. With the cute little panda eye. Unicorn. 
unicorn is so pretty. It's so shimmery. Even without the illuminator underneath it, it's still a really shimmery eyeshadow. But it's just like really glowing with the illuminator underneath and the ring light catching it. Um, our lighting in our uh, um, office, which is where I'm at, isn't that great. So I'm kind of glad that I have the ring light. And I really like the way it just kind of catches the light or the makeup and just makes it all nice and white glowy. Um, for those just hopping on, we are doing the panda look tonight for the Halloween looks. And I went with, I started with the pearl illuminator just to kind of give something for the eyeshadow to go on to. And now I'm going in with the unicorn eyeshadow and my finger, it's kind of crazy. kind of looks like the tin man, <laughs> even though it's still white. So, okay. We might come back and clean up a few things. Okay. Pandas have the big black eyes, so we're going to go, oh, not that one, this one. We're going to go in with the dark black Salem and start coating the eyes to keep that going. Very pigmented colors for our eyeshadows, which is why I like them, because <laughs> they're just all over. But with the right remover, they come off pretty quickly. Um, Even last night when I did the princess look and we had the glitter everywhere, it came off pretty easily, which was nice. I didn't have glitter all over the place. I'm trying to get underneath the eye. Kind of looks like a raccoon mask too. There's all sorts of things we could have done with this, but I kind of like going the panda route. Come on over to the other side. Let's get back a little bit. I don't know why I cannot do my left eye ever. <laughs> I'm like, I've done it before. It's no different than my other eye, but... For some reason, just crossing over is so weird. It's also really weird because there's other people in my house listening to the live, so I hear myself talk. And then I hear them get to that point later on. It kind of throws it off. It's kind of weird. But that's okay. get through there okay we got our cute little panda face now we're gonna get the little panda nose almost reminiscent of the kitty cat nose from Monday not the heart shape though it's just gonna be the little little bear nose And I'm going to come in tonight with Love Spell for the lip color, just because it's a darker brown color, because I don't really want to go black on my lips tonight. So I'm just going to go with a dark panda brown. And there we go. Get our little panda face. I don't have little panda ears, but that'd be really cute. Just a little, little panda headband. Goes well with the white and black outfit. Again, could also be used as a ghost, probably. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can not knock this over. That might be too washed out now. But there we have it. We have our panda face. Um, again, tomorrow, be sure to watch for the this or that so you can pick Saturday's makeup look for Halloween. 
And then um, tomorrow is circus theme for Spirit Week. So I've got a couple of ideas that are not clown related. I do not like clowns. I'm not scared of them, but I just don't like them. So there will not be clown makeup on, but I have a couple of other circus themed ideas. So check in tomorrow to see how that goes. Let me know below what you think of the panda face or if you just like the illumination of it. Um, and I will be happy to respond or just, you know, say, hey, thanks for being here. Um, I do appreciate you taking some time out to either watch this live or watch the video. I really appreciate you guys voting to see what makeup looks will be happening during this week. And I will see you next time. Bye.